Hey everyone, I wanted to talk about the recent AEC Magazine article that they posted about uh, resellers. This is kind of an interesting thing for me. I'm not super familiar with how they operate and all the different things they do or like what those partnerships look like when they're selling Autodesk software to uh, firms. I've been in some of those conversations uh, like at my firm involved in those, but I'm not the one that ultimately agrees to whatever we purchase. And there's a lot of conversations that go into that and what Autodesk licenses we're uh, getting and what that payment looks like. And usually we work through a resource seller. I've got a good buddy that uh, used to be on that side of the industry, worked in it for, for some time. He's transitioned back to uh, a, a design firm. We were having some conversations about like, what does that mean for the resellers? And what does that mean for, you know, especially if their business model is mostly selling licenses? Just today, I saw this article that was posted and, and it was like, oh, that's awesome. Like try to get some insight into this because I'm interested to see how it evolves and what, what does it mean? Because I know that not every firm that has a reseller like actively engages with them a lot of them will bundle up like free services such as like uh, kind of Revit troubleshooting and that's something I, I try to actively use because it's there they also depending on the reseller may also bundle up like a learning platform so that's a pretty common thing and so I'm interested to see how this evolves and what it means for me it never made a lot of sense to like as a like operate as a third party to sell software it makes more sense like in the past Autodesk wouldn't have the footprint to cover every single region and so these uh, third-party resources could help manage and push software and sell software along with services and get a commission from that and so I think the firms that have pivoted more of their business towards services and offering different services might be a little bit more successful in this transition. Essentially what's happening is Autodesk is setting it up to where you pay directly to them and I think the resellers will still kind of be involved in that, but it just means that they may not control the price as much or they can't compete much on price between resellers. It's, it's gonna be like, this is the price that Autodesk sets, and then they'll have various services they may wrap up in that as a reseller. And it could be related to training and, and implementing a software within a firm, which there's certainly a market for that. Anyways, I thought this article was pretty interesting. I'll share the AEC Magazine link below, so definitely check it out. There's some other really cool stuff in here as well. And actually, I opened this up to look at something else, and then I found this article. So anyways, it, it just talks about that and what it looks like. And I'm just very interested to see how, how that evolves. I know also some of these resellers have been creating their own software and selling that, offering that to clients. It'll be interesting to see what this looks like in a few years and how it'll impact them. But like I mentioned, like my experience, I've never worked at a reseller. So the business and the way that it works, I'm not super familiar with, but I would love to know if there is anybody that's listening to the channel, if you would share your, your perspective in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, what you think this means for you and how it's going to evolve over time. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. Just wanted to, to share this because I think this is a big thing for resellers. Uh, what does it mean? Are we going to still work with them and get that free software? I know there's a lot of add-ins and learning platforms that come with it. You know, what does what that environment look like when we have to go direct to Autodesk? Is that what most of the firms are going to do and not go through the reseller? I don't know. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.